A rural village in Laos, one of the last remaining communist states and also poorest countries in the world. Three quarters of its five million population live below the poverty level with no more than the equivalent of two dollars a day, most of them in rural areas with no electricity. Once night falls, it's pitch black. But now, solar rechargeable lamps like these are helping to transform life in villages in remote regions. Now villagers can work long into the night on products they sell at the local markets. And children can do their homework after dusk. Rural life has improved considerably. All thanks to Sunla Bob, a rural energy provider founded in 2001 by Andy Schroeter. There is a demand. I realized this and I thought maybe a good opportunity to start the business here in Laos in rural electrification, in renewable energy. After spending five years here as a development worker, Andy knew that villagers couldn't afford solar systems, so he decided to rent the energy out. For that, he needed a network of trusted franchisees in the villages to collect the rent and maintain the equipment. And he needed to employ managers like Sulia Nanthavong, who understand the importance of including the villagers in the business plan. It feels like we have experience and we understand what people need. We talk with villagers and we, we listen to them, the, what they want also and then we, we, work, we adapt our system to match with their needs. The company has been very successful. Recently, Sulia became African project manager. Today, businessmen from East Africa are visiting to see the operation firsthand and possibly export Sun Labob to Africa. This is south to south transfer of knowledge. We are not looking at just doing business, but how can we import knowledge from Asia to, to Africa? What has been the impact in the community now? So you see, people are able to produce uh, more things. Oh. Like, uh, Ramzi Magambo is familiar with the challenges of rural development and quickly realizes what has made Sun Labob so successful. The, the, the beauty with this I've realized, it seems there are no many defaulters because you are trying to make them also earn. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a charging station. They can put some money on the table and then they can uh, walk away with one lamp. At home, they can hang it upside down in the roof of the house. So what do you think? Is this also something that could work in, in, in Uganda or in Tanzania? In Uganda, a typical household spends about 10 to 18 dollars a month on mm -hmm. kerosene. Considering the other issues of uh, the smoke, uh, health hazards, fire outbreaks, sincerely, this is the best solution. A few weeks later, Ramzi and Sulia are in Accra, the capital of Ghana. They're here to attend the World Bank Group's Lighting Africa conference, where new projects are presented and where some receive awards. They've been selected as finalists. And Sulia has brought along a solar lamp. Actually, the jurors were impressed our, with our presentation and the technology, and I'm certain we did it. Yeah, we passed. Yeah. As a winner in the first Lighting Africa Development Marketplace competition, San Labo. It's, I think it's a, it's a wonderful example of how uh, an idea that came into life in, uh, in Laos is now being translated and uh, expanded into Africa. Uh, I love to see this kind of South-South cooperation. 
The day after the award ceremony, Ramsey shows Suli around an African village. I think we will beg you in the name of the Almighty so that you come back and help us here because we are feeling difficult here. Too. Right, maybe we come back with the solar lantern, mm -hmm. which it looks similar like this, mm -hmm. but it also gives you a brighter light. Okay. Ramsey, mm -hmm. we'll also bring, bring the solution for you very soon. Thank you. Right. Thank you very we thank God. Thank you. Sunla Bob is a new way of bringing power to the people.